going on aries how are you guys i hope that you all are doing well aries welcome to your general love reading number 74 this is 11 the justice card libra energy madness offensive unpleasantness so someone here is feeling like things have not gone in their favor okay somebody here is feeling treated unfairly a lack of truth of a lack of honesty maybe somebody was lying i don't know if this is you aries but you may be angry at someone here you have right number 18 ceremony mystery magic some of you may do magic or you're getting spells done, okay? Maybe someone else is doing magic for you. Some of you may be watching a lot of tarot, okay? Connecting with your spirituality. 18 is the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. So this is fear. Some of you may have a fear that someone's doing magic on you. Someone, someone has a fear that the other person has them under a spell. That's what it's telling me. There's something here that is unknown, uncertain. So it's like, if you have this fear, you don't know if this person is actually doing it, right? And you have introvert number 66. Notice how this couple is sleeping in the same bed, looking at their phones, but neither of them are speaking to one another. They both have their back turned towards one another. There's someone here that Aries, you may live with this person or, you know, you're just... Regardless, if you live with this person, Aries, you're not speaking to this person. There is no communication. There's a separation, online community, privacy. The two of you may be stalking each other's social medias, but not speaking to one another, looking at old conversations. You know, like when you think back to something and you get angry all over again, that's what I'm feeling with this fury. Someone here is like looking back at something and becoming angry every time they think of this. Merit making, goodness, humanness, morality. Number 64, that's 10, which is the Wheel of Fortune. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. Now, this, I mean, this girl looks like she's praying, right? She's wishing for something. She's hoping for something here. This is peace. So I feel like somebody is hoping for peace. Someone may be hoping for an apology here. Goodness, humanness. This is humanity. This is, you know, a reconciliation, a peaceful resolution. And good news. So you have 10, the Wheel of Fortune, good news, number 42, that's eight, the Strength card. I feel like the universe wants you to remain strong here, Aries, because it's like there's something good that's going to come out of this, okay? If you've had good intentions with this person, if you've been a good person to this person, right, it's like you're receiving good in return. Confinement. Some of you are feeling confined, but look, you have a blessing. You have a blessing around the corner. Number 23, that's five, which is the Hierophant. This is, you know, a higher level of commitment. What else is going on for Aries? Tell me more. The five of swords. So there goes that conflict. Right underneath the fury. So there's tension here. There's tension between you and someone. Someone may be feeling manipulated. Someone may have felt like the other person was playing mind games, playing with their emotions. The eight of pentacles. This is dedication, working on something here. Aries, some of you may, you know, for some of you, this could be a coworker. Maybe there's conflict in the work environment. But I feel like a lot of you guys are focused on yourselves, you know, working solo here, working on yourself, working on a goal. And you have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is a wounded warrior. And it's right underneath the introvert, eight of pentacles. Yo, <laughs> eight of pentacles is right underneath that magic card. And this woman, it, look, 
I mean, this is the modern witch tarot, but it looks like she's creating a spell, right? Does somebody do magic here? I don't know. The wheel of fortune, there goes that 10. The wheel of fortune, this is a positive shift. It's change, fate, destiny, good fortune, great fortune. This is things turning in your favor, right? The nine of wands is the wounded warrior. So you may feel attacked here, Aries. You may feel like you've constantly fought for this connection. You fought for this person. And this is someone that kept abusing your trust, right? Emotionally abusing you, manipulating you. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, regaining your independence, letting this go. You know, Nine of Pentacles is a card of an achievement, a reward, right? Success. Tell me about this Five of Swords. The Ten of Cups. So this has to do with a, a living situation or a family situation. Some of you may have children with this person or you know each other's families, right? The Ten of Cups is a dream come true. It's a reunion, right? A happily ever after. The Nine of Swords. You may be in your head about this here, Aries. The Nine of Swords. Someone here. Someone is having fear. Someone is, you know, anxious, paranoid that there will no, there will not be a happy reunion between you two. The Five of Swords is mental conflict. This is someone who's feeling mentally conflicted. It's like their mind, you know, they're constantly overthinking about this. Their mind is overwhelmed, stressed out. You know, this is someone who's thinking very, very negatively. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, the Emperor. That's you. So I feel like you're you're really focused on you know your priorities right now, Aries. With the Emperor showing up, Eight of Pentacles. A lot of you guys are focused on your structure, discipline, your you know um, your integrity, right? The Ace of Swords, victory, a breakthrough, clarity here. This is gaining a new perspective. You know, the emperor is a leader. This is someone who's practical, who's logical here. That's your energy. So I feel like this is what your main focus is on right now. Some sort of victory when it comes to your career, a goal. It's like you're committed to a goal right now. And it has to do with your future, your stability. You as an individual, your beliefs, your morals, Tell me about this nine of wands, the six of pentacles. I feel like there's an offer coming in Aries, but with that nine of wands, you may be very, very skeptical of this. I feel like this is somebody that may be apologizing to you or being very generous. The devil, Capricorn. Some of you may be resisting temptation. You may be resisting to give to this person, okay, to reciprocate. And the page of wands. Some of you are tempted. Someone, I'm going to say someone. Someone is tempted to reach out. Someone is very curious. The king of pentacles. This could be having to do with a passion here of yours. Something that has long-term success written all over it. Abundance. All right, let's move on to love. Let's see what's going on in your love life. All right, what is the lover's oracle message for Aries? What do Aries need to hear right now? What do Aries need to hear right now? Wow. Wow forgiveness stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine somebody needs to forgive someone is finding it very difficult to forgive someone is too focused on the past that's that fury here you create your reality by what you think dream and imagine Law of attraction. 
you have weight. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So I feel like there's something that's coming in, Aries. If you are, you know, expecting an apology from this person, if you if you know that you've done nothing wrong, I feel like the universe is telling you, wait, because it's going to come. This could be, you know, a reconciliation for some of you. Let's see. Tell me more for Aries. What else is going on in Aries' love life? What else is going on in Aries' love life? You have travel. Some of you guys could be traveling, exploring the world. Okay, maybe this is something you're passionate about. This could be what you're taking action towards. For some of you, you may have to travel to see this person or there's distance between you two. You have wanting more. Somebody is wanting the other person to open up. The heart is coming out of this box. It's like someone here wants the other person to open up. Give me one more for Aries and love. And drained. emotionally drained, poor communication. So Aries, you may feel emotionally drained, okay? Mentally drained, physically drained when it comes to this connection. You know, you may feel like you've been giving and giving and giving. That's that nine of wands, six of pentacles. A lot of you guys feel like you were giving so much of your dedication, your devotion to this person. And it's like you were expecting the same in return, wanting more. There was a lack of communication, a lack of, you know, emotional compatibility, because maybe this is somebody that finds it difficult to open up fake news lies and times up some of you may feel like this person has lied to you maybe this person has and it's like with the times up that's it you've reached your breaking point someone here feels this way and spying there's a lot of spying going on going crazy a lot of spying going crazy because there is no communication there is no clarity unrealistic expectations and telepathy for some of you this could be a twin flame this could be somebody you have a telepathic connection here with. Even though you're not speaking to each other, there's still a strong connection here. You're both giving each other the silent treatment. You have the broken heart in between this couple. So it's like you're both hurting through this, but nobody is expressing it. No one here is taking the initiative, breaking the ice. Chaos, unreliable, last one, and spoiled. So Aries very interesting here. Let's see what this person wishes to say to you right now. And then we're going to go in with the tarot. What does this person wish to say to Aries? What does this person wish to say to Aries? You're my worst distraction, and I just want to be on good terms with you. So the fact that you guys are not on good terms, the fact that there's still tension lingering between you two, it's, it's becoming a distraction for this person, especially if you live with this person, because the chaos showed up and there was the house. That's, it reminds me of the tower. There's some sort of foundation that you've built with this person here, Aries, whether you work with them or you live with them. But the fact that you both are not on the best terms right now, you're not on the same page, it's becoming a distraction for this person. Thinking about you gives me anxiety. Tell me more of what this person wishes to say to Aries. Tell me more of what this person wishes to say to Aries. It's not easy for me. I'm stick. I'm sorry. I'm in a sticky situation. So maybe this person is married. Maybe this person lives with someone. I can see my future with you. 
Hmm. It wasn't easy for me to walk away from you. So this person has walked away from you and it's because they're in a sticky situation. It has something to do with family, something to do with home, a commitment. This is someone that can see their future with you. They can see you in their future, in their life, and they want to be on good terms with you. I'm having a hard time resisting you. Your insecurities push me away. I do certain things to see if you care, and I wish I could have done things differently. So there's a lot of regret here. There's a lot of remorse. There's a lot of disappointments, grudges, right? Because you have forgiveness here. So someone is, you know, holding on to a grudge. Someone is deeply hurt, focused on the past. Hmm. How are Aries feeling towards this person right now? How are Aries feeling towards this person right now? The Hierophant in the reverse could be a Taurus. Okay, so the Hierophant in the reverse is not being on the same page. This is something unconventional. This is, you know, not being aligned with one another. You both have different beliefs. You both have different morals, different outlooks when it comes to commitment. Not agreeing with each other here. You have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, you may have a fear of committing to this person. And you have the Tower, Scorpio energy with the Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're kind of indecisive right now, Aries, with this two of pentacles. For some of you, it's like, you know, you may be wanting to take things slow with this person. You know, you may be wanting to continue investing into this connection, but, you know, taking your time here. But then there's another part of you that is also thinking of just allowing this tower to fall, disconnecting yourself, because there's something about you both not being on the same page, not seeing eye to eye. The Queen of Swords and the world, okay? Air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio here with the world. So it's like, you know, you're wanting to close out a cycle. You're wanting to cut out a repetitive cycle here. The sun, this is, you know, a card of happiness, optimism. This is openness, right? Expression. It's like you're seeking clarity here, the star, some of you, it's like you're you're manifesting something. You may be hoping for renewal with this person. You may be manifesting, uh, you know, a renewal with this person. Tell me about this Hierophant in the reverse, the Empress, Taurus, Libra. We got strong Taurus here. And Taurus is a, an earth sign, right? Taurus is someone who's grounded. This is the birth of something new. For some of you, you may be connecting with someone new, okay? There could be new love here with this empress. You know, when it comes to this particular person, you may be disconnecting yourself from this person. And, you know, there's new love that's brewing here. A lot of you, this could be you just focusing on yourselves, knowing your self-worth. Tell me about this Knight of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are focused on your money right now, focused on your stability, your home life, your children, your family, your work. But I do feel like you guys could be slowly entering a long-term commitment right now. Tell me about the tower, the six of cups. Something about the past is coming to an end. I feel like you may be allowing this you know, the two of pentacles is about flexibility, adaptability. You might be adjusting to this change here, Aries. And with the six of cups, the tower, you know, this could be you letting the past fall here. I feel like I have a piece of hair in my mouth. Sorry, y'all. Hmm. How is this person feeling towards Aries? The justice. Libra energy. So this is someone that wants to set things right. They want to do things the right way. This is somebody that is seeking justice. 
balance, restoring balance here. Someone that wants to take accountability, that may be, you know, wanting things to be fair. The Knight of Swords, this is someone who wants to communicate with you. You have two knights here, Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords. So there may be someone else in the picture. Give me one more for this person's feelings. And the Ten of Wands. This showed up in the reverse, but I picked it upright. I feel like this is someone who's struggling to let this go here, Aries, okay? This is somebody that has a lot going on in their life. Two of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Tell me about this justice, the three of pentacles. Yeah, they want to make things work here with you. They want to cooperate here with you. Knight of swords, the five of swords. This could be someone that is, you know, wanting to communicate about the drama, about the conflict here. You know, it's like they're determined to seek some sort of clarity, to have some sort of breakthrough here. Ten of wands. The seven of wands. This is someone that's feeling very defeated, very guarded, very on the defense. Okay. Hmm. What is the outcome between Aries and this person? What's the outcome? What is the outcome for Aries? The page of cups, a message. This is a surprise message here an apology and judgment. Yeah, somebody here is definitely wanting to resurrect something. This is a judgment call, okay? This is a resurrection, an awakening, another chance to do things over, to do things right, you know? Judgment is a, a, another opportunity here. This is a second chance to do things right. So Aries, let's get your quote to end this reading if you connected with this reading, please be sure to hit the like button. I greatly appreciate it. So let's see, Aries, you have, oh, we have two that came out. Okay, the first one is a relationship is not based on the length of time you have spent together. It is based on the foundation you've built together. So no matter the time, you know, maybe this is someone that you've known for 10 years a relationship is based on the foundation you've built together because this tower is here. So something was not built on a strong foundation. We can't change people, but we can change. Sorry, we can't change people, but we can work on ourselves in a way that can encourage positive changes in the people around us. Connecting with your spirituality. 18 is the moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. So this is fear. Some of you may have a fear that someone's doing magic on you. Someone, someone has a fear that the other person has them under a spell. That's what it's telling me. There's something here that is unknown, uncertain. So it's like, if you have this fear... You don't know if this person is actually doing it, right? And you have introvert number 66. Notice how this couple is sleeping in the same bed, looking at their phones, but neither of them are speaking to one another. They both have their back turned towards one another. There's someone here that Aries, you may live with this person or, you know, you're just, regardless if you live with this person, Aries, you're not speaking to this person. There is no communication. There's a separation, online community, privacy. The two of you may be stalking each other's social medias, but not speaking to one another, looking at old conversations. You know, like when you think back to something and you get angry all over again, that's what I'm feeling with this fury. Someone here is like looking back at something and becoming angry every time they think of this. Merit making, goodness, humanness, morality. Number 64, that's 10, which is the wheel of fortune. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, energy. Now, this, I mean, this girl looks like she's praying, right? She's wishing for something. She's hoping for something here. This is peace. So I feel like somebody is hoping for peace. 
Someone may be hoping for an apology here. Goodness, humanness. This is humanity. This is, you know, a reconciliation, a peaceful resolution. And good news. So you have 10, the Wheel of Fortune, good news, number 42, that's eight, the strength card. I feel like the universe wants you to remain strong here, Aries, because it's like there's something good that's going to come out of this, okay? If you've had good intentions with this person, if you've been a good person to this person, right, it's like you're receiving good in return. Confinement. Some of you are feeling confined, but look, you have a blessing. You have a blessing around the corner. Number 23, that's five, which is the higher font. This is, you know, a higher level of commitment. What else is going on for Aries? Tell me more. The five of swords. So there goes that conflict. Right underneath the fury. So there's tension here. There's tension between you and someone. Someone may be feeling manipulated. Someone may have felt like the other person was playing mind games, playing with their emotions. The eight of pentacles. This is dedication, working on something here. Aries, some of you may, you know, for some of you, this could be a coworker. Maybe there's conflict in the work environment, but I feel like a lot of you guys are focused on yourselves, you know, working solo here, working on yourself, working on a goal. And you have the nine of wands. So the nine of wands is a wounded warrior. And it's right underneath the introvert, eight of pentacles. Yo, <laughs> eight of pentacles is right underneath that magic card. And this woman, it, look, I mean, this is the modern witch tarot, but it looks like she's creating a spell, right? Does somebody do magic here? I don't know. The wheel of fortune, there goes that 10. The Wheel of Fortune, this is a positive shift. It's change, fate, destiny, good fortune, great fortune. This is things turning in your favor, right? The Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. So you may feel attacked here, Aries. You may feel like you've constantly fought for this connection. You fought for this person. And this is someone that kept abusing your trust, right? Emotionally abusing you, manipulating you. Ten of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, regaining your independence, letting this go. You know, Nine of Pentacles is a card of an achievement, a reward, right? Success. Tell me about this Five of Swords. The Ten of Cups. So this has to do with a, a living situation or a family situation. Some of you may have children with this person or you know each other's families, right? The Ten of Cups is a dream come true. It's a reunion, right? A happily ever after. The Nine of Swords. You may be in your head about this here, Aries. The Nine of Swords. Someone here. Someone is having fear. Someone is, you know, anxious, paranoid that there will no, there will not be a happy reunion between you two. The Five of Swords is mental conflict. This is someone who's feeling mentally conflicted. It's like their mind, you know, they're constantly overthinking about this. Their mind is overwhelmed, stressed out. You know, this is someone who's thinking very, very negatively. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. The Emperor, that's you. So I feel like you're you're really focused on, you know, your priorities right now, Aries. With the Emperor showing up, Eight of Pentacles, a lot of you guys are focused on your structure, discipline, your, you know, um, your integrity, right? The Ace of Swords, victory, a breakthrough, clarity here. This is gaining a new perspective. You know, the emperor is a leader. This is someone who's practical, who's logical here. 